Jake Gibson science stuff. Yeah, science stuff. Brought to you by the UNI Office of Sustainability. Plastics, papers, cardboard, old tin cans, and glass bottles. What do all these materials have in common? Uh, it's garbage. No, they can be recycled. Recycle. Recycling is the process to change materials, also known as waste, into potentially useful items. Recycling also is beneficial to the environment because it reduces pollution. Don't throw items away. Recycle. Paper, plastic, and cardboard are not the only things you can recycle. You can recycle electronic devices, too. Like cellular telephones. And laptop computers. Look around your living area for places that will recycle old electronic devices. It's fun and sustainable. Try it! Pay. Per. Paper. Pla. Stick. Plastic. Card. Board. Cardboard. Alu. Mino. Aluminum. Electronics. Electronics. Re. Cycle. Recycled. Recycling's been around for almost all of human history, dating all the way back to the times of Plato. During times when resources were scarce, ancient waste sites showed that there were less household items thrown away. That meant they were recycling more instead of using new material. Recycling, it's not only sustainable, it's historic. Many people at UNI might not know where they can recycle their items, so please consider the following. Take a look at this. This is my UNI campus recycling model of science. This model shows where you can recycle your plastic bottles on campus. All the buildings that are purple or yellow in color are where you can recycle your plastic pot bottles or water bottles. Over here, this is our recycling substation just west of Hudson Road and north of the power plant. The recycling substation allows you to recycle numerous items on our campus. Those items include newspapers, cardboard, plastics, plastic bags, clear glass, tin cans, magazines, and office paper. Now that's sustainable. I finally got you, Recycle Man and Sustainable Lad. For I, the Garbage Man, have captured you and there's nothing you can do to uninterrupt my plan of dumping trillions of pounds of garbage onto the earth. That's what I call waste management. Holy greenhouse emissions, Recycle Man. What are we gonna do now? I'm out of ideas. Patient Sustainable Lad, I have an idea that could trash the Garbage Man's plan. I just pray that it works. Will our heroes waste any time? Can they recycle their heroics? Tune in next week to find out. Same recycle time, same recycle channel. Hello, I'm Brett Schneider and I'm the co-founder of the sustainability uh, paper recycling program we did last semester for uh, Capstone. When we had class, we were just kind of sitting down and going through like brainstorming what we could possibly do to make the campus more sustainable. I just really thought about actions I do every day um, and kind of what, what we would all be able to do relatively easily um, to implement at UNI to get everyone involved. And I noticed that every time at the end of the semester, I'd always throw away my notes. Just rip them out, throw them straight in the trash can. And I felt like it'd be really easy to just make it uh, more convenient for people to um, have a place to recycle them at the end of the year. Um, I believe we ended up recycling over 500 pounds of paper. Um, about 100 pounds came from Bender Hall. I think the big the big push for that was I was here. Um, it was easier for me to kind of just remind people to go there. So I really feel like if you get a bit of, uh, more voice in all the dorms, those numbers could be triple 500. As we actually had our container just set up right here I'm in front of the hall office. It's really easy for students 
going to the elevator um, to just drop off their notes once they were done with their finals and just going through their um, notes once they were getting ready to leave for winter break. I'm really hoping that um, people in Capstone right now are thinking about also implementing our program again because it was actually really easy to set up um, once it's been through once. I know um, my kid will definitely help out again. It was really easy to kind of implement and he, they could definitely learn from things that we wanted to improve on. And I, like I said, I really feel like our numbers could be inflated if we got the word out. My name is Brent Schneider and I'm leaving a smaller footprint. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to wait till the world gets better. It's not trash, so get your act together. It's a problem and it's time to face it. There ain't no reason on earth to waste it. It ain't a crime to be good to the earth. Pick it up! Pick it up! Don't need to wait for an invitation Take the cans to the cycling station It's something sweet and it gives you money Did you know that? It can take around 450 years for one plastic bottle to fully decompose. In some situations, it can take over 1,000 years for plastic to biodegrade. Now you know. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find more ways to be sustainable to help this big guy out.